Hey, what's going on guys? Mr. The Reverts here, and today I want to talk to you guys about the Infinite Warfare Esports reveal that happened yesterday. Now, if you guys want to go watch the entire stream, I'll have a throwback link from Twitch down in the description. Uh, but basically, there's a lot of changes in the competitive scene this year. I want to talk to you guys about all that kind of stuff and give you guys my two cents on the subject. So, uh, getting started here with the weapon draft, it's kind of similar to the specialist draft, uh, but you only get to pick up the two weapons in every single series. So, if you have a team of four, you're going to be having up to uh, eight different weapons that everybody's going to be able to use. That does kind of add a weapon variety in the game you know that is kind of a good thing to have because for the past couple years now everybody's been running like a single weapon or maybe even two uh, for black ops 3 everyone ran the vmp or for advanced warfare everybody used the bower the asm1 but with this weapon draft it kind of adds a lot of uh a lot of weapon variety in the game in every single competitive matches that where that's going to be played so that is definitely a very good thing but it it is a little bit different that we've seen before and i can definitely see why people were complaining about it over the uh, over the past couple of uh, days here um it does kind of screw over people People that want to snipe because nobody's gonna be running a sniper when uh, they really don't have any other option to choose from a different gun like say if they're getting wrecked with the sniper you know you're kind of stuck with that with that uh, sniper rifle so I really could see sniping uh, being not as popular as it was in previous Call of Duty titles and Infinite Warfare I don't know but we're gonna have to wait and see along with the weapon draft there is gonna be a rig draft so kind of similar to the specialist draft you are gonna be able to pick up to one rig for every single player so that's kind of uh, self-explainable there but the uh, map rotations that were on the stream it was throwback hardpoint frost s and and mayday uplink the game modes might change for all these uh, maps but i really don't know about that frost s and because if you guys didn't know i posted a war run tips and tricks video on my uh, youtube channel a couple days actually a couple weeks ago during the beta and uh, there's basically a wall run that kind of uh, allows you to go into the enemy spawn and flank them from behind it is a really op wall run and i uh, definitely do like that wall run a lot but you know it, it is really cheap and gay to uh, to gay to use and especially if it's going to be an s and game you know you can basically just uh, outrun a enemy player and uh, you know let the bomb get uh, get down or whatever so i don't know i really don't like frost s and d and a lot of people in the s and d community were complaining about it as well so i don't know that might get taken out of the rotation and replaced with like maybe ctf or uplink i think one of those two game modes will play out really well on frost so i don't know we're gonna have to wait and see but as for the codcast mode it looks really really cool it's it's uh it's it's really really amazing how they added a bunch of changes to it and it's a lot more viewer friendly too so i really like the codcaster mode a lot uh there is no banner protect system in the game so that might be a little bit odd because you know i i did like the banner protect system a lot uh, I was going into uh, Infinite Warfare thinking that we're going to be able to have the Banner Protect system, but it is uh, not going to be coming back in IW, so uh, I don't know. I'm kind of upset about that because I did think that it added a lot more of thinking into the games that you're going to be playing, so uh, it is kind of upsetting to me that it's not returning, but at the same point in time, you know, i got to adapt to the changes and I'm um, not really looking down on it or whatever. So, uh, all in all, guys, I'm pretty excited about competitive this year. It does look really fun to watch to be playing. There is a lot of changes that people are going to have to get used to, so I'm going to be playing a lot more competitive this year because I feel that uh, I can be a lot more dominant in, in Call of Duty this year because uh, going to Black Ops 3, I was really, really good. I didn't play a lot of competitive in BO3, but uh, still, I, I did play a couple matches and I was re really good. Uh, in Infinite Warfare, I had a lot of fun with the beta and I started getting used used to the game a lot more and I started dominating in that game so I'm gonna try competitive this year I'm gonna be uploading a lot more scrims and maybe some competitive matches too so you guys are gonna be able to see that on my channel I'm probably I'm gonna slowly transition into uh, into competitive matches onto my second channel if you guys want to go check that out there's a link in the description but I'm gonna be playing a lot more competitive this year I'm pretty happy about that I'm gonna be uploading more tips and tricks videos for you guys I have a lot of stuff planned out uh, during the beta I found out a lot of stuff uh, about the game too and I can't wait to share that with you guys so yeah it's all a work in progress here I'm pretty excited to be uploading some infinite warfare content for you guys I got a lot of stuff planned so uh, make sure to come back to my channel within the couple weeks here we have until the game is actually released tell me thoughts about the infinite warfare esports reveal down in the comments guys also drop a like if you guys did enjoy and I thank you for watching I'm a very rest of the day until next time I'll catch you guys later